Ah, ningeomba tu tusimame kwa miguu yetu tunapokaribisha neno ah, siku ya leo tumebarikiwa ah, kama vijana na tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya hii nafasi ningetaka tu kaweze tu kusalimia huo jirani yako kwa hapo karibu na wewe usalimie tu msalimie tu salimia huo jirani kama mjui tafadhali mjue jina ni vizuri kujuana sisi sisi ni mandugu sisi ni watu wa ini tuna tunashiriki pamoja mjue tu jina lake na Mungu atakubariki thank you so much uh, tunashukuru sana thank you so much at this time ningetaka tukaweze kumkaribisha yule ambaye ataweza kutunenea neno siku ya leo na sio mwingine ila ni Shali Getru tumkaribishe kwa makofi mazuri karibisheni vizuri mkaribisheni vizuri Asante sana, Shali karibu sana. Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Nipungie mkono bali popote unaniona. Pigie Bwana Yesu makofi mengi. Haleluya. Amen 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 amen. Amen. Kuna wimbo unaimbo pale kwetu Taita. Sijui kama hapa unaimbo lakini najua ni wimbo mnaweza kuwa mnaujua unasema ni nani ni nani ni Yesu. Twende pamoja. Ni Yesu ni Yesu ni Yesu wao. Oh ni nani aokoa ni Yesu. Eh ni Yesu ni Yesu ni Yesu. Oh, ni nani ana nguvu ni ye Haleluya ni Yesu ni ye e, ni Yesu wao Oh, ni nani adumisha ni Yesu Haleluya ni Yesu ni e, ni Yesu wao Oh, ni nani ana nguvu ni Yesu Haleluya ni Yesu ni e, ni Yesu wao chako ukae na mshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya siku ya leo kwa sababu sitakuwa na mkalimani ningeomba vijana wa ule anisaidie kuondoa hii maana hatuihitaji kwa dakika chache ziko mbele yetu tutaitumia ya ndo nikue hapa ni concentrate hapa kwa hii moja Bwana Yesu asifiwe ya unaweza kuwa uko mgeni labda hapa ama labda wewe unaniona na maybe hujanijua basi naitwa Getru Dishali mwana Nimeokoka na mpenda Bwana Yesu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Naweza kuimba kama ule mtu aliimba akasema moto unawaka ndani yangu. Wale limba moto umewaka moto umewaka. Kuna stanza katika hiyo wimbo. Na wakati mwingine watuimbi hizo stanza tunaimba tu chorus. Lakini katika huo wimbo kuna stanza inasema tangu nilipokaa na Yesu, moto wa upendo wa Yesu unanichoma moyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na naweza nikashuhudia leo nikasema ya kwamba tangu nilipokaa pamoja na Yesu zaidi ya miaka kumi imepita tangu nilipokaa na Yesu moto wa upendo wa Yesu unanichoma moyo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na mshukuru kwa sababu amenihifadhi katika pendo lake tangu nilipookoka najua wakati mwingine tunasema hatujaona sababu za kurudi nyuma ni kweli hatujaziona ni kwa sababu tumeziona lakini we have overlooked them amen And that's why we say we have not seen a reason for us to turn back. 
Yes, we have seen reasons, but they don't qualify to be reasons for us to turn back. Because there's no any reason for us to turn back as long as we come to the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Usini nyonge sana, nipatie sauti. Kuna mubiri alikuja hapa kasema tunaishi na sauti. Na mipia nasema hivyo huwa naishi na sauti. So give me a good sa- sauti so that I don't uh, strain much. Amen. Ya yeah, so tumekuwa katika wiki ya vijana. And by the grace of God, uh, I'm the youth chairperson this season. I know, I'm so humbled. I know it's not about me. It's about God. Amen. Because it never crossed my mind I could be. Because I felt that uh, I've, I've not been here for so long. But uh, by God's grace, I was given that opportunity and I pray to God uh, for that time that I'll be in that docket that uh, there will be a big revival in the lives of young people. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is my prayer to God and that is my vision. There will be a great revival that will go on and on and on even down the years. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For I know when we are revived, we can live for God without fear. When we are revived in our spirit, we can stand firm for the truth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And so even as we preach, this week we have been talking about, our theme has been uh, developing a spiritual mentality. Kuwa niya ilio badilishu, ama niya ya kiroho. Na kuna mandiko amba tumekua tukiatumia kwa katika kitabu cha warumi, sura ya nane, mstari watano na wasita, na wasaba utanikubali ni asome, ata kama sita ubiri exact kutoka hapo. Lakini ni andiko ambalo linasimamia our theme. It is in Romans chapter 8, verse 5, 6, and 7. I'm reading from NIV version. Romans 8, 5, 6, and 7. The Bible says this. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with in accordance with the spirit have their minds set uh, have their minds set on what the spirit desires verse number 6 the mind governed by the flesh is death but the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace verse number 7 the mind governed by the flesh is hostile to god it does not submit to god's law nor can it do so blessed be the name of the lord So that was our uh, our scripture our guiding our theme for for this week for for the youth week tumekuwa tukikusanyika hapa wale wamekuwa kiwezesha kuwa hapa kila wakati vijana uh, Mungu akaweze kuwabariki sana wengine tumeshikana kazini hapa na pale maybe we are not consistent uh, because of that ama wengine maybe shughuli but we thank God all the same Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana aso pia anachukua nafasi hii kushukuru our our bishop for giving us an opportunity also to minister Uh, we don't take it for granted bishop we appreciate so much and thanks also to our patron and our pastor's wife we appreciate you so much amen so at this point i want us to go very quickly katika kitabu cha shawarumi tu bado hapo huko ambapo umesoma ile theme songa mbele tu page 2 3 utafika warumi 12 uh, warumi 12 tusoma mstari wa pili peke yake That is the main scripture that I will use and as we learn few lessons down the line and maybe we learn two three lessons and we we'll read maybe two three scriptures uh, mostly an evangelist siko muhubiri yule mwalimu wa neno sana sina hiyo neema bado na kwa sababu hiyo nikikimbia wewe kimbia na mimi bwana yesu asifiwe sana amen watu wangapi wanakubali watakimbia na mimi ukisikia nimesema kitu wewe andika hata kama haikuwa kwa point yangu if you think that is a very good point for you it will bless your life you can note it down amen sasa nasoma katika warumi sura ya 12 uh, mstari wa pili from NIV version biblia inasema hivi do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind then you will be able to test and and approve what god's will is His good pleasing and perfect will. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. So niko na kichwa ambacho nimepatia ujumbe huu akiko mbali sana na theme yetu ama mada yetu ya wiki hii kwa sababu nimesema ya kwamba mada ya wiki hii ni kwamba 
we, are, we, we want to, to learn about developing a spiritual mentality. And so nikaenda chini kidogo nikatafuta another uh, another theme ambayo iko in line with that which is about a renewed mind causes transformation. I just wanted to capture uh, the word formation so I went to the word transformation. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Yes, a renewed mind causes transformation. Kwa Kiswahili ni nia iliyobadilishwa husababisha mabadiliko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Sababu mabadiliko hayawezi yakatokea yenyewe. Lazima kuwe na jambo linalosababisha mabadiliko. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na sasa nataka nianze kwa kusema hivi ya kwamba Mungu ametuokoa kupitia mwana wa Yesu Kristo. Ya kwamba kwa kutufia msalabani na kutuokoa kwa kwa gharama ya mauti ya msalaba ametuita katika ufalme na alipotuita katika ufalme wake ili tu, tuishi kumtumikia tuishi maisha ambayo ni ya, ni ya haki ama ni maisha ambayo angetaka sisi tuyaishi kulingana na mpangilio wake kama Mungu hakutuacha tu hivyo alitupatia njia ambazo zinaweza kutusaidia sisi kama wakristo tukaweze kuishi katika maisha yaliyobadilishwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa kama Mungu alitarajia kutubadilisha hakutubadilisha tu he came up with a strategy he came up with a plan he came up with ways in which we can be transformed in which we can change from who we used to be before we met Christ and who we should be and we should continue being Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana kwa hiyo kama Mungu anatarajia wa Kristo ama watu wa Mungu aliitwa kwa jina lake wabadilike hatarajii tu ati amekaa bure anaomba anasema tu mbadilike no amepeana namna amepeana njia amepeana mbinu za sisi tunaweza kuzifuata ama kukaa kwazo ili tukaweze kubadilishwa Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na kwa sababu hiyo ndio maana tuko na neno la Mungu maana tunapolisoma ni information tunaipokea inabadilisha nia zetu ili tukaweze kubadilishwa nia tukishabadilishwa nia tunaweza kubadilika maisha yetu yote Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana maana kubadilika hakuanzi tu hivi kunaanza katika unapomwamini Kristo kwa imani ukisikia neno lake imani na kuingia wapi moyoni alafu unaamini unaamini kwa Yesu alafu neno lake unapoendelea kulisikia na kulisikiliza tena na tena liko na uwezo wa kuiongeza ile imani ufike viwango vya kutaka sana kukaa katika neno la Mungu na kulipenda na kulisoma zaidi na kukaa katika hilo neno paka maisha yako yaanze sasa kubadilika siku baada nyingine kutoka yule mtu wa kale kuja katika yule mtu mpya ambao umefanyika it is a process and that's why we are saying it is developing a spiritual mentality it is a process it is not just something that happens to you very quickly wale ambao tumekuwa tukienda katika cell groups za nyumbani kuna somo la kwanza ambalo bishop wetu aliweka hapo la kwanza about salvation wale ambao wamekuwa kienda cell groups najua wanazaniunga mkono ni hivyo si ndio kuna somo hapo la salvation na salvation hapo ime tumeonyeshwa it is divided into three portions. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. There is justification, there is what? Sanctification and there is what? Glorification. So once you born again, you you are justified. Justification in a take place immediately with immediate effect. Immediately you receive Christ, you are justified. Unahesabiwa haki hapo na hapo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Lakini kuna jambo linafuata linaitwa sanctification ama utakaso. Hilo ni jambo la wewe na Mungu mufanye partnership. Unashirikiana na Mungu kivipi? Kupitia neno lake, kupitia Roho Mtakatifu, kupitia maombi, kupitia ushirika na kupitia mambo yale yote mema ambayo neno la Mungu limezungumzia katika kukaa katika hayo yote sana sana katika neno maana neno ndio linatoa information yote kama utaomba lazima ulikuwa ulisoma kwa ne? neno linasema tuombe kama utatoa neno kama utaenda kufanya jambo njema kwa ajili ya, ya ufalme yote inatoka kwa nini kwa neno sasa hapa katika utakaso ni sehemu ya ngapi ya pili na hiyo unakaa katika utakaso siku zako zote it is a process as well blessed be the name of the lord and then the third part is glorification hiyo hatujafikia paka dunia itakapofika mwisho na Yesu arudi mara ya pili 
na afanye yale mambo yote yameandikwa katika kitabu cha ufunuo alafu mwisho wa ulimwengu kila kitu kikifika mwisho tutabadilishwa tutafanana na Yesu tutavikwa mwili usioharibika mwili wa utukufu haleluya na hapo ndipo waimbaji mwingine wa tenzi alisema kazi zangu zikisha naamini nikiokoka na kufaa kutwa kuharibika nitamchua nikifika ngamboni nitamuona uso kwa uso nitamchua kwa alama za misumari hapo ndipo tutatukuzwa tutafanana na yeye bwana yesu asifiwe sana sasa nimesema hayo maneno nimeyatumia lile somo la la hiyo la, la cell group lilikuwa la kwanza kwa sababu tunaongea kuhusu kubadilishwa nia nimesema ya kwamba the head of my topic is a renewed mind can cause transformation Now the writer of the book of Romans who happens to be apostle Paul anaandikia watu waliookoka wa, watu wa roho kanisa la, 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 la Roma walikuwa wameokoka ni kanisa ambalo lilikuwa linaendelea kwa hiyo haandiki watu ambao hawajaokoka anazungumza na watu waliomkiri Kristo wamempokea katika maisha yao Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na mimi mchana wa leo namshukuru Mungu kwa maana yes I am an evangelist and sometimes I preach outside there but today I am preaching to people who are born again people who are believers people who are abiding in Christ Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana so Paulo anapoandikia lile kanisa naamini ya kwamba yale maneno ni mazuri kwetu asubuhi ya leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana samahani mchana wa leo ya kwamba anawaandikia amewaandikia mambo mengi kuanzia sura ya kwanza ya pili ya tatu ame handle different uh, different topics and different uh, lessons but hapa anawaambia kuhusu kubadilishwa kwa nini kwa nia zao kwa sababu mkristo yoyote ambaye hatajua kubadilishwa nia ni jambo la muhimu atapoteza miaka mingi sana katika wokovu ila ushike vizuri kabisa na bado una watu kuna tofauti watu wafanani kuna yule mtu anayezingatia neno, anayezingatia kubadilishwa, anayeendelea. Na kuna yule mtu alipookoka alikaa. Na ndio maana watu wengi leo wanasema wameokoka. Kenya tunasema 80% are Christians. But research ikifanywa vizuri, I am so sure tunaweza tofauti. Ama even 30. Kwa sababu ya nini? Watu wengi tunapokuja kwa Kristo inatokea tu. Sijui inatokea vipi lakini inatokea. Kwa sababu imeshatokea na tunaona. Amen. Ya kwamba kuna kule kuokoka na kuna kubadilishwa nia. Kama si muhimu kubadilishwa nia, Paulo hangekuwa anazungumza na kanisa la wakori, la la, 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 la warumi. Samahani. Hangekuwa anazungumzia mada hiyo. Kwamba they should not conform to the patterns of this world. Wasiishi kulingana, wasibadilishwe ama wasifanane. Wasifanane na 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 namna ya dunia hii. Tuko tuko duniani sisi tuko duniani lakini si wa duni yes that's what the bible says we are in the world but not of the world we are from above amen and all the bible says he is telling them do not conform to the patterns of this world ama to the ways of this world because that's where we came from we used to live according to the world amen hivyo ndo tulikuwa kabla tu kuokoka sivyo ama wewe uliokoka ukiwa namna gani ukiwa mtu wa dunia si ndio Me I met with Christ when I was 19 years old almost turning 19 it's when I met with Christ kwa hivyo biblia ikisema nisiishi kwa namna ya dunia najua dunia at the age of 19 I was able to know dunia ni nini kwa sababu nimekuwa huko bwana yesu asifiwe sana na paulo anaambia kanisa la warumi musiishi kwa namna ya dunia do not conform musibadilisho musifanane na na mambo ya dunia lakini mfanywe upya kwa nia yenu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na kuna sababu kwa nini anawaambia vile. Na ni muhimu pia wewe kama Mkristo uelewe. Wakati Mungu anataka ubadilishwe nia, asiache na kupigia stories mna chat kwa WhatsApp. God is so serious about it. That is not a WhatsApp chat. Hiyo sio message imeingia tu. It's a powerful message. Ya kwamba akikuangelesha kuhusu kubadilishwa nia inamaanisha kwamba nia ya mwanadamu iko na uwezo wa kubadili. Kwa maana ilikuwa nia ya dunia, sasa umekuja kwa Yesu lazima ibadili. A renewed mind can cause what? Transformation. A renewed mind. Hivi tulivyo si vile tulikuwa. Ungenikuta nikiwa 19 years kurudi huko nyuma, I was someone else. Maybe my parent can tell you. Yes, even at that age you are very young but you have done so many things. Kwa sababu ya nini? Dunia iko na namna ya vile watu hukaa duniani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. 
lakini tunapokuta kwa Yesu kuna kubadilishwa amen nataka waambie jirani yako ambaye uko karibu naye tunapokuta kwa Yesu kuna kubadilishwa yes usipobadilishwa nia utaenda huko watu wanaenda kwani nini itakuzuia usiende ama unafikiri walitumia milioni ngapi kwenda it's not a million walipanda tu ziara and they went see it's very easy so your mind must be transformed you need a new mind so kubadilishwa nia kutaleta mabadiliko katika maisha yetu ya ukristo tusipobadilishwa nia siku baada ya nyingine because it is a process amen it is a process i've said it is a process usiseme nimekaa kwa wokovu miaka kumi labda kama mimi juu nimepitisha kumi na ama labda miaka saba, miaka salasini. ufikirie nia yako ilishabadilishwa ikaload up to 100 haiwezi songa mbele hapo hapana inaendelea kubadili kubadilishwa ukifanya upya wa nia yako siku zo siku zote kile iitwapo leo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana na sasa nataka kuna mambo matatu nataka tujifundishe yatakayo tusaidia sisi kama wakristo najua yako mengi wahubiri wanaweza hubiri mengi amen lakini mimi tu nilitaka tujifundishe mangapi matatu yanayoweza kutusaidia nia yetu kufanya nini kuendelea kubadilishwa sijasema mjabadilishwa nia nasema tuendelea kufanya nini yes kubadilishwa nini kubadilishwa nia ni kubadilishwa mtazamo wa mambo you stop looking at things and life and issues the way you used to before you are born again amen and after you are born again you can differentiate between huo wakati na wakati huu mtazamo wako unabadilika na ule mtazamo ukibadilika unasababisha mabadiliko katika maisha bwana yesu asifiwe sana tunapoenda kuangalia hayo mambo matatu wakati mwingine wa kitambo sana nilifanya kazi kwa kampuni ya wahindi ya ibz na pale kulikuwa na watu walikuwa wanaamini kwamba na kitu kilikuwa kinaniumiza zaidi ni kwamba wengine wao walikuwa wamekoka tulikuwa na ushirika pale kazini tukihubiri walikuwa wanaamini kwamba ile pesa wanalipwa na muhindi imerogwa ama iko na kitu kingine mtu akiitumia haendelee yangi now that kind of mentality iliwaweka chini wengi miaka lakini wale ambao tuliamini kwamba hata kama ni kweli anafanya chochote nayo as long as nilitoa jasho nikapokea hii mshahara nitaipeleka mahali nafaa kupele i will give my tithe i will give my offering and from there i will use the remaining money to develop my life we developed but a mentality that is not changed ni tuona sifiwe bana sifi lakini akili yako ni ile ya kale i am telling you wezi badilisha akili ya kale na motivational speaking we have attended motivational speaking meetings and forums and unless Christ himself changes your mind through his word and his spirit you cannot go anywhere utabaki tu vile vile motivator atakuja kuangalisha kuchochea 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 they will go you will remain the same it is until Christ changes your mind through his word and through his spirit hallelujah amen so we want to go to point number one. there are only three sitaka hapa sana three ways on how uh, your mind can be renewed so that it may do what it may cause a transformation amen three ways on how to develop that kind of mentality which is a spiritual mentality the first one is it's by gaining understanding ni kwa kupata ufahamu kama unaandika kwa Kiswahili by gaining understanding ama kwa lugha ya Kiswahili ni kwa kupata ufahamu amen na hiyo tunaipata katika sura ya 119 ya Zaburi. So if you have your Bible very quickly you can run with me in the book of in the book of uh, Psalms chapter 119 and verse 130. There's a very beautiful, beautiful scripture there talking about uh, understanding and how it comes because if i tell you one of the points or one of the things that can help you to gain understanding then i should show you how you can gain that understanding as well amen amen sitaki nikwambie tu gain understanding unaenda home ukifikiria hivyo hata motivational speaker atakwambia the same thing gain understanding but how because we are talking about spiritual matters amen yes we must remove it from the bible so psalms 119 verse 130 the bible says this The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. 
the unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now that we are talking about a renewed mind which can cause transformation. The, uh, one of the ways you can, your mind can be renewed, it is by gaining understanding. Because when you gain understanding, that understanding works in your mind to, to, to change it from the former pattern to the new one. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And now that understanding, you cannot just get it anywhere. The understanding that you need so that your mind may be transformed, so that your mind may be renewed, it is the understanding that comes by his word. Yes. Yes. Siyata ulienda shule. Ukambiwa moja na moja ni mbili. Ukianzia nasari. Sindio? Lakini ukangangangangana. Lakini baada ya muda ukajua ni kwe? Mini kiwa nasari likuwa nafikiri moja na moja ni kumi na moja. Mana zimekuwa moja mbili. At that, at that point ni kiwa miaka ine shuali. At that point. Mimi singe elewa kwa nini moja na moja. Zinakuwa ngabi? Zinakuwa tu balali ikuwe moja na moja. Zikini zikiwa moja mbili pa moja. My understanding at that point ikochi? Ikochi. So when you come to Christ, you are understanding at that point. Iko wapi? Iko chini. Lakini lazima yendele kuguro. Amen? Lazima yendele kukua. Na ili ikue, ini nini nesababisha ikue? Mana ule ufahamu wako kama utaendele kukua. Ile understanding yako kama itaendele kukua, ili ikufae katika safari ya imani, katika ya maisha. Lazima kuna mahali unaitoa. Amen? Na inatoka katika ne? Katika neno la mungu. Zaburi ya mia kumi na tini. Na tisa msari wa mia na salasini. Inasema kuingia kwa maneno yako. E buwana. Hunipa nuru na hunipa ufahamu. Hata humpa mtu ambaye mnyenyekevu ufahamu. Buwana yesu wa sifiwe sana. Another version says the entrance of his words. Kuingia kwa maneno ya? Yake kristo. Maneno yake? Kristo ya ingia katika? Nia. Kuingia kwa maneno yake. Hutupatia nuru na hutupatia nini? Understanding. Ufahamu. Now when you gain that understanding that comes from God, it is when your mind can be renewed. Amen? Usipote, tuko hapo kwa renewed mind. Sawa, sawa? That's when you can have a spiritual mentality. Otherwise, you cannot just have a, men- a spiritual mentality by just not reading the word and just doing your own things. Ndwa mana tumefuatwa na mandiko, tumefuatwa kwa Bible study, unafuatwa kwa ibada zote, neno, neno. Paka katika ushiriko wa nyumbani, you have been given a manual. Now, if you are not abiding, you are not following that manual, you are not using it, or maybe you are not attending, I am encouraging you to start doing so. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because the entrance of his words brings light, and it gives what? Understanding. So when you have that understanding, your mind is renewed. Amen. And you need to abide in his word so that your mind is being renewed every, every day. Because we are in the world. Na kuna mambo mengi tunaona. Tusipo jichunga, tuwakikisha neno lina tusafisha ni ya yetu kila wakati. Bas, we will conform to the patterns of the world. Na hapo ndiwa Paulo anambia warumi, musifana nisho na namna ya dunia. Do not conform to the patterns of this world. If you don't allow the word of God to continue giving you understanding. Day by day, you will go back. And then you become a worldly Christian. Utabaki na buwana asifio peke yake. Na may the grace. Hizo si ngumu. Hizo ni raisi. And from there, you can't go anywhere. So, Make sure you gain understanding by his word. Amen. The second thing that can help us to, 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 so that our minds may be renewed, so that we may have a spiritual mentality. The second thing is by being led of the spirit of God. The first one was to gain understanding through his word. The second one is by being led of the spirit of God. And very quickly, we can open uh, the, the Bible. To Rudi tu kwa, apo tu ulikuwa kwa warumi. Uh, Rudi, Rudi, Rudi paka warumi. Nane, sura ya mstari wa kumu nane. Sorry. Romans 8. Uh, verse 14. We'll get that scripture there. Being led by the spirit of God. Amen. Romans 8. Romans 8. And verse 14. The Bible says this, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. Those who are led of the Spirit of God are the children of God. And we have said, 
another way your mind can be renewed so that it may become a spiritual mentality or a spiritual mind it is also by being led of the spirit of god bwana yesu asifiwe sana when i was starting i said this wakati mungu alikuita katika uokovu katika ufalme wake akama kwamba ana matarajio juu yako kwamba ubadilishwe si ndio hakukuacha tu alikupatia njia ama namna za vile utabadili utabadilishwa now this is one of them i'm taking you back to back so that you can get it all right yes hii ni namna nyingine ya kukufanya ubadilishwe ni ibadilisho you have a new mind a spiritual mentality that can see things from a different perspective from a spiritual perspective amen so the bible says in romans chapter 8 and verse 14 those who are led of the spirit of god are the children of god now at this point hakuna mtu atakuja kukuuliza kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu unajua yule roho ukuongoza ni mshahidi anashuhudia ndani yako kama wewe ni mwana wa mungu bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa maana watu wa dunia hawajaokoka wao ngozi na roho wa mungu they are not they are not even qualified to be led by the holy spirit because he does not live in them na pia hapo kwa kwa cell group za home kuna topic of the holy spirit wale ambao tumefika hapo tunaweza kuwa tulisoma si ndio the work of the holy spirit one of the work of the holy spirit is to do what to lead us into all truth there were around five or six but one of them is that to lead us into all truth the holy spirit leads what he leads the children of god by being led of the spirit of god into all truth your mind is done what is transformed it is renewed Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Na nia iliyobadilishwa, ah ni nia nzuri sana. Hiyo ndiyo imefanya watu waishi kwa imani. Kwamba Bwana alise, Bwana alisema, "Roho ananena ndani yangu." Ya kwamba ingawa sasa hali iko hivi lakini namwami, namwamini. Kwa sababu ya nini? Nategemea kile roho alichoniambia. Naye roho haneni maneno yake. Ananena nini? Kile ambacho Yesu ananena. Na Yesu alisema yale ninayenana, nayanena sio yangu ni yale mimi usikia baba akina. So baba hunena mwana husikia akanena naye roho asikia kwa mwana anane so there is a flow blessed be the name of the lord so for you also your mind to be renewed so that you may have a spiritual mentality you must allow the holy spirit to lead you into all truth you allow him blessed be the name of the lord if you don't allow him you will be led by the spirit of this world kwa sababu wakati wakati mwandishi wa waiki kitabu ambaye ni paulo anaposema wale huongozwa na roho ni wana wa mungu Nimesema hizo si messages za WhatsApp ama man stories. These are powerful messages. Amen. Kwamba if you are not careful, you are not ob- you are not searching your heart. Ujiulize mimi huongozwa na roho ama huongozwa na mwili? Kwa maana mada yetu imetoka katika Warumi 8:5 na 6 na sababu imesema wale huongozwa na mwili Kuongozwa na mwili nini? Ni kutembea katika mwili kutembea namna ya dunia lakini na matokeo yake yametajwa pale lakini wale huongozwa na roho wao huwa na uzima na amani bwana yesu asifiwe sana so inamaanisha kwamba usipoongozwa na roho utaongozwa na mwili utaongozwa na mwili na matunda ya mwili unayajua so for you to stand firm for you to be able to stand firm your mind has to be renewed by allowing the holy spirit to guide you into all truth that was number two. number three, the last one by remaining focused on the things of god another thing that can help your mind to be renewed so that it becomes a spiritual mentality so that it may cause transformation as well that mind the, the, the only way another way sorry another way also is by remaining kuongoza kwa kipengele cha pili roho na kuongoza katika kweli hiyo yake atakukumbu he will remind you jesus said when he comes he will lead you into all truth and he will also remind you ama he will also tell you the things that are to come so as long as we abide by these three things that i've shared here i am so sure god will help us to stand firm and even to live a victorious life bwana yesu asifiwe sana mahubiri yangu yanafika mwisho but it is my prayer to god my brother my sister mama yangu baba yangu Usiseme wewe umekaa kwa kanisa miaka mingi. Usiseme nilimjua Yesu zamani. 
Huko kwetu ninakotoka ninapomalizia, huko ndiko watu utoa ushuhuda paka unabaki mdomo wazi. Shoshua anakuja mbele anakutajia paka mwaka, paka mwezi, paka saa na dakika na sekondi. Anakuambia mwaka wa 69. Andi Shoshua hata mimi mama yangu hapo amezaliwa wakati. Andi wa like. Now with that kind of a testimony if you don't abide by these three things I've shared and many other things that pastors can teach if you don't abide by them your mind will not be renewed utaishukiwa mkristo lakini utashindwa na maisha ya wokovu utakuwa wewe maisha yako ikana ushuhuda tofauti na ile unase kile unachosema lakini kinadhihirika maisha ni mwako za christian is totally it's contrary to your testimony so may the lord help our hearts even as this week has been youth week we've come up with this theme developing a spiritual mentality may the lord help your heart to purpose that your mind is going to be transformed your mind is going to be renewed each and every day it is a process useme nilienda ushirika zamani siku hizi siendangi kisi wa kristo tuko na mambo mengi sana ya ajabu ni vile bado hatujawekwa kwa magazeti na hizo vitu zingine may the lord help our hearts nilikuwa naenda zamani nikawacha Nilikuwa naendanga hii na hii nikawacha. Unafaa ujiulize uliwacha kwa nini? Kwa sababu unataka kubadilika ufanane na namna ya dunia. Maana namna ya dunia ndio watu ufanya vitu ikimshinda na wa. Lakini hapa kwa Mungu tukifanya vitu tukijua Bwana alitusa kufanya hivi tunafanya. Ikitushinda tunarudi kwa tumuulize imetushinda tunaweza kufanya nini na tunarudi kwake kupitia neno lake. Let us stand on our feet as I welcome our patron Pastor Mike to wind up for us. God bless you so much. I love you in the Lord. Amen. 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 We just want I just want her to close our our eyes as we go before the Lord. And uh it might be in this place the first step is to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. You here you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The first step for transformation is for you to receive Jesus and then he will renew you he will renew your mind he will walk with you he will change your life are you here and you want to receive Jesus as your lord and savior you have been impacted by that word and you're saying that i have not yet received Jesus Christ as my lord and savior then how can i be transformed how can i be renewed There is an opportunity for you to receive Jesus. Lift up your hand wherever you are. I will pray for you. Lift up your hand wherever you are. Our God is able to transform you. Our God is able to transform you. If there is none, I want to pray. I want to pray for those who who are saying that I want God to renew my mind today. I want God to renew my mind. the battlefield that is there in your mind god can change it he can change it into be a holy thing let me tell you today that our god can change you kama uko hapa unasema ya kwamba ningetaka mungu aweze kubadilisha mawazo yangu kupitia nguvu za roho mtakatifu mungu atakubadilisha siku ya leo Inua mikono yako mbele za Bwana as I pray for you. Our God is going to change your mind. Father in the name of Jesus. Lord we come before your presence O oh God. We want to pray Jehovah God that Lord you are going to renew our minds. The Lord Jehovah God the battle that is there in our minds O oh Jehovah God between the flesh and the spirit. Lord Jehovah God you will help us to stand against the flesh and Lord you will help us to do holy things you will help us to think holy things oh Jehovah God Lord we come against the evil desires Lord in our minds in our hearts oh Jehovah God may you change them oh God in the name of Jesus we bless you Jehovah God because of your word we bless you because of your servant In Jesus mighty name. Can everybody say a big amen? Come on celebrate Jesus. We have a soul. We have a soul. We thank God, we thank God because
ya dugu yangu ambaye ameamua kuokoka siku ya leo tumpigie makofi tumpigie makofi asanti asanti sana baba wetu na mungu wetu tunasema ni asanti bwana kwa sababu wewe unabadilisha nia za watu bwana Tazama Mungu alema Bwana umebadilisha nia ya kijana huyu Bwana na siku ya leo Bwana amekuja na amejisalimisha mbele zako Bwana. Ya kwamba Mungu alema kuanzia leo Baba wa miguni amekuja kwako na amesalimisha moyo wake kwako mfalme. Mungu alema naomba mfalme ukamsaidie, ukamshika na mkono wako wenye nguvu na uweza. Mungu alema mpe marafiki ambao Mungu alema watatembea pamoja na wewe mfalme. Mungu alema ukamwepushe na madhara zote Mungu alema ambao zinaweza murudisha nyuma Bwana, wokovu ambao Bwana amepokea wakati huu. Bwana ikaweze kudumu kwake Bwana, ukaweze kuzaa matunda katika maisha yake Bwana kuanzia leo baba tunamsalimisha kwako tunamchovya katika damu ya manakodoo bwana ya kaba bwana wa mbinguni kuanzia leo hata rejelea mambo yote yamekuwa kitenda bwana na atakuwa msafi kwako bwana na utamsaidia Mungu wa Israeli tunamkaribisha kwako mfalme mwema au kaweze bwana kumchukua bwana na kaweze kuwa rafiki wako wa karibu mfalme na so sifa na utukufu wote baba itakurudia na ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo aliye bwana mokozi tumeomba hata tukiamini amen Asante tumpigie makofi tumpigie makofi Karibu sana katika ufalme wa Mungu saa hii malaika binguni wamesimama kufanya kila kitu wana celebrate let us celebrate this brother ambaye amempokea Yesu siku ya leo ah we thank god we thank god tunashukuru Mungu sana tafadhali dugu ukitukimaliza ibada usikuwe na haraka tachukuliwa utapelekwa pia katika chumba cha wageni na utaweza kupewa mwelekeo uh, bila utafanya baada ya hii baada ya kuokoka sasa utahitaji kutembea uh, katika njia za Mungu na utaweza kuelekezwa kwa hayo tunaweza pata viti zetu